Hey everybody, today we are going to talk about my top 10 favorite period film set designs, edition one. <laughs> uh, there are so many, as you may or may not know, I was a classical history major and theater major, blah, blah, blah. but um, I love, love, love historical uh, period pieces. So some of these are my favorite but there's a billion more so here are just my top 10 let's start with number one which these are in no particular order just to let you know once again um the revenant oh my goodness nominated for academy award jack fish hamish pretty um yikes the revenant um is a pretty much just a breakthrough role for a new coming star Leonardo DiCaprio. I really hope he finds success after this movie. Um, I don't know if anybody is really going to hear from him from here on out. Obviously, yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio is amazing in it, but all of the traveling, all of the movement around um, in creating that, as well as all the action that they had to work with, with that freaking bear. I don't even know I was watching it and I was like how did Leo survive this film like how did he get through everything I I, I, I couldn't watch it that was kind of a cinematography move he had like his beard with he was telling the story of how um, his makeup artist would drip wax in his beard to make it look like the icicles like how did he survive everything i really don't know they really created an environment that looked terrifying to um survive in with all the elements yikes uh number two the great gatsby oh leo again uh catherine martin beverly dunn um and some of the designers great gatsby is so pretty <laughs> that's really the biggest thing about it and it's oh, it captures it so beautifully without being too cutesy and too you know on the nose like we got it we got it you know wealth of the 20s but it's really great check it out um gosh gangs of new york i didn't realize leo was really rolling out um this list for us but that's what happens uh gangs of new york yeah dante freddy francesca lo schiavo gangs of new york <laughs> gangs of new york just it's also one of those things where it's like how do people get by during that time like how do you not get like infections from paper cuts everybody's so dirty all the time uh, but that's the point of it um obviously not everybody's dirty the the people that the 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 people that Cameron Diaz steals from they probably don't get infections from paper cuts either way it's just so beautiful they really did their homework um seeing what old-time New York um, may or may not have looked like um, with the gangs and how they put that through. So one of my favorites, um, also nominated, Great Gatsby won uh, Academy Award, BT dubs. Um, Chicago is number next, also won Academy Award. Uh, John Meyer, Gordon Sim. Oh, yikes. I mean, this, this would be top. Chicago really cleaned up when they came through. I don't know if it was like 10 or more Academy Awards that they won, but they cleaned up. Um, I, I think wardrobe, song, everything. Um, so all around, check it out. I really, they really made looking like a um, Mary Murderess very appetizing, very appealing. Uh, Moulin Rouge won actually. Was next on the list. Catherine Martin, Bridget Broche. Uh, it it grew on me a little bit. Moulin Rouge is a little is a little. Mm, it's a little kooky, but I like it. Um, the rendition of Roxanne is my favorite song. Um, but it's so unique and so like boho in some ways, but so chic in some ways. It's just, I love it. Uh, that's kind of a uh, period film. It's hard to tell. But anyway, uh, next one, Gladiator, nominated Arthur Max, Crispin Salas. I studied the classics which are ancient Greek and Roman history so Gladiator is kind of gonna be an automatic favorite obviously Russell Crowe and everybody else that was in it is amazing that really sold um, the really sad environment that they were in it was amazing though oh Gladiator uh, next Saving Private Ryan oh, I'm talking about sadness um, Tom Sanders Lisa Dean Kavanaugh uh, 
they really they really sold it just like a lot of uh, World War Two or one but mostly World War Two films really sell it and how depressing everything is even just with the design and a lot of it is cinematography as I mentioned you know them coming in on the ships and you know uh, really <laughs> setting that tone I think that's you know part of the design they have to work so closely with what's going to you know be seen what's going to be in focus what's not going to be in focus and you know how to create this environment that you're like cringing and tense <laughs> crazy am uh, next on the list, LA Confidential, Ooh, ah, nominated, Gene Openwall, Jay Hart. I always love this film. I hope people always revisit this. Um, it, it's it's kind of like the gangsters like, hey, hey, you know, what do you got on the mix today kind of uh, film. I know that was, that was really obvious what I was doing. Uh, huge cast, huge cast, Russell Crowe, uh, Danny DeVito, Guy Pearce, a lot of big names. It's so like old, dirty Hollywood. I love it. I wished I worked during that time, but it would have been really miserable for me. But I still wish it. I love it. LA really Confidential. Check it out. Next on the list, Schindler's List is going to be my favorite with a lot of things. Um, you'll see it coming up on some of my favorite uh, period film scores. It's so heartbreaking. There's so many aspects about this film that I love. Uh, and you have to be so delicate and you have to really, like I said, do your research on World War II and especially when you're, you know, dealing with such tragedy, you really have to make sure that you're doing everything as sensitively and accurately and portraying everybody with the appropriate strengths and weaknesses and, you know, struggles everybody went through and um, Alan Sarsky, Wabron, I think accomplished that. Last but not least, Raiders of the Lost Ark won the Academy Award, as well as Schindler's List. I don't remember if I remember that. Um, Norman Reynolds and Leslie Dilly, as well as Michael D. Ford, um, did the designing. Raiders of the Lost Ark, I love all the Indiana Jones movies. I actually wanted to be an archaeologist because of Indiana, because I was like, wow, that's exactly what I'll be doing. Uh, definitely not. Most people, archaeologists, don't even go on digs. You have to have that dough to do so. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> just went classical history instead. Anyway, I love Raiders of the Lost Ark. I love all of them actually, but that's one of my favorites. Uh, I'm sure you've seen it or see seen scenes from it or ridden the ride, but I love it so please check it out. So just some of my favorites. There's going to be so many more to come. Tell me which ones that you love. If you have any cool facts about any of them that I didn't share, that would be awesome. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in and checking out uh, some of my favorites and we'll hope to see you soon. All right, thanks. Bye.